Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating a eyeshadow look with the Mercury Retrograde Palette by Huda Beauty. So I've had this stunning palette for quite some time and you guys really loved my swatch party video so thank you so much for the support on that. I just wanted to create a look with this palette and kind of give you guys some first impression kind of thoughts on this palette. Even though I swatch it, I haven't worn it on my eyes yet so you guys are going to get to see me working with this palette and after that I will come back and give you some of my thoughts. Okay, so for some of you that are new to my channel, this might be a new background for some of you, but for the few of you that have probably been around for some time, you recognize my old backdrop. So I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Uh, I cleaned out my desk. This is where I do my makeup usually, and I just thought it'd be fun to bring it back. So today we are playing with a palette that I told you guys I was going to play with earlier this week and I never got around to it so I thought let me do it now so I was sitting here trying to think of what shades I would even want to use and I'm not quite sure I feel like I want to use the blues but it's so hard to say so I'm gonna dip into the shade um, crash first it's like a very neutral shade it's not really anything to be very honest I'm not sure about this palette I thought it was such beautiful packaging, I'm not going to lie. The packaging definitely done me in. I feel like these mattes are not the most tan girl friendly mattes, but I also know I have so many other palettes I can dip into when I am using a palette if I wanted like a deeper palette. Obviously this is like my first time putting this on my eyes, so I want to try and like stick to this palette. Uh, but typically, if I really like the shimmers, I wouldn't mind reaching into another matte palette for some deepening up shades. The other thing too, I guess I'm trying to decide is if this palette is worth your investment, like uh, the VIB sale is currently happening. So if you're a Rouge, you can get this palette for 20% off, which like, I kind of jumped the gun. Like, I thought, hey, I was going to review this before it launched, but... I didn't end up doing it, so I kind of wasted some money ordering it on her website, but at least I got free shipping. So we're going with Off Balance next, and I'm going to tuck that into my crease as well. These are blending really nicely. I think Huda has worked on her formula for sure in her new Mini Nude Obsession palettes. That felt like very good quality. I've never had a problem with her this size palettes, like her bigger palettes. So I'm expecting this one to perform well. I would be more surprised if it didn't do well, to be honest, uh, because then I feel like there's something going on with the formula because her other three palettes, which I have, um, the formula is perfection, blends really well, and yeah, I really enjoy using them in my day-to-day -day activities. So they're some of my go-to palettes. So my crease is definitely very mauve toned and I think she kind of had a look similar to this she had like a more pink crease and then she did the blues so I think that's kind of what I want to do today I am gonna try and deepen up my crease a little more by adding the shade hot mess I feel like that's an interesting name for a shade because this palette is called mercury retrograde but I'm guessing it has something to do with like Mercury retrograde may cause your life to be a hot mess. Is that kind of what we're going with as far as the vibe? I'm guessing. I don't really know. Um, but yeah. Just blending that all into the crease. So you guys, this is the Saturday after the Jeffree Star launch with Shane Dawson. I'm going to go into the shade Vortex. I think those two like broke the internet this week. It's kind of crazy. I was a little bit shook at how many people were like obsessing over that palette and the launch. I saw so many people that don't even wear makeup wanting it and obviously like there's a lot of Shane Dawson stands and I don't stand him by any means and the thing is too I think a lot of people support Shane Dawson because they remember like watching him growing up I feel like because he was like one of the first like internet kind of personalities and kind of like one of the bigger channels 
on YouTube, so I never like really watched him ever, ever, ever. And uh, so it was really fun to kind of see everyone's excitement, even though I was excited for the palette. Here's the thing, it's so funny because I always thought like I was kind of a Jeffree Star fan um, because I bought his products and it's been up and down. Like I, I really liked him. Then I just I just go back and forth. There's not really anyone I think on the internet that I stand, which is great. There's a lot of like makeup artists and brand owners that I admire that I think are making like significant contributions that have really changed the game. And I think we can kind of like learn lessons from them business wise. I was a business major in college, so I just think it's very interesting to follow brands, see their strategies, like are they working? Like, who's falling for it? That kind of stuff. Me, I, I fall for it on a daily basis. And I just think it's very interesting to see what kind of marketing makeup companies do. And I've learned a lot about marketing, actually just watching what makeup companies do. It's very relevant to me. And it gives me ideas. It ins inspires me for my day job. So I really enjoy that part of being in the beauty industry or like the YouTube realm because kind of get to see the perspective of the customer but I can also put myself in a brand shoe so it's been really really interesting to see how Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson have really kind of convinced people that they need to buy this palette to support Shane Dawson and I'm like it was so funny because I was talking to a friend and I'm like it's so bizarre that people think they need your support. Like, I think the reveal video has like 14 million views. Do you know how much AdSense they're probably making um, with 14 million views? I'm not like a YouTube expert, but I would venture to guess quite a bit. Like, to the point that, I mean, it's got to be at least six figures just in AdSense if you're making, if you're getting that many hits and like, it's just week one. So I'm guessing in the next, you know, few months that video is going to get a lot of more views. And so I really think that people just don't need to worry about support buying it. Like buy it because you love it, buy it because you think it's beautiful. I went back and forth so many times on like buying it because I like Jeffree Star. Um, his products usually work really well for me, but once I saw it, the reveal, I was just kind of like, mm, you know? So now I need to figure out what color to put on my lid. I'm tempted to go with like this blue shade, this purpley shade. I think I'm gonna do a mix of those two. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need like glitter glue because I'm not sure if it's gonna be like really flaky or really um, sticky to the lid. So let me think about how I'm gonna do this. I feel like this palette has so many gorgeous statement lid shades. Ah, uh, I wanna play with all of them. So I'm gonna go into the purple shade called um, Ultraviolet, this one. Just gonna dip into it with a flat brush. This is a little bit wet from the brush cleaner I use, the Cinema Secret brush cleaner. Let's see if that helps it stick to my lid at all. Okay, we I see some pigmentation. Um, I really don't like using my fingers to apply eyeshadow, especially a lid shade because I feel like my fingers are never precise and I always end up like transferring shimmer into my crease, which not a fan of that look. Also funny story, my husband's so sweet. He's such a good cook. He loves to cook and he's actually upstairs right now making us Thai curry, which I'm really excited for. He hasn't made this recipe in a long time. He actually found it um, at the gym we go to. They sometimes do like healthy cooking classes. And so he learned the recipe and he actually made this curry um, and it's so delicious. And I just cannot wait, I'm so hungry. He's watching um, 
what is he watching? Criminal Minds. And I was so tempted to stay up there with him, but I haven't filmed with this palette yet. I wanted to film a look with it. So I love that color, Ultraviolet. Now I'm going to go into Mercury, which is kind of like a standout shade in this palette. I want to pair this palette with her Sapphire palette from her Obsessions collection because I'm just so excited to pair the matte shades in that palette with um, the shimmers in this one. So I'm just dusting this on. The blue shade is definitely um, doesn't have as strong of a base as the purple one. I'm going to try and wet this brush. Spray it definitely help. I like to do my face makeup after I do eyeshadow because then I can clean up any messes that I make. Um, I know each to their own. Um, that's such a pretty shade. What do you guys think? I feel like it would almost have been better if I just did that same color on the whole lid, but I wanted to try a few other shades so I could keep you guys posted on my thoughts. Um, and it's beautiful. I don't know if it's $67 worth, because, uh, you know, but it's definitely got like a beautiful duochrome vibe, and... I love the purple. I think that's definitely my favorite. So I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to clean up my lower lash line and then I'm going to finish up my eyeshadow and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, here is the final look. I decided to, I don't know what I was doing, but I just wanted to feel the galactic fantasy. And so I just played with some of my JD Glow Multichrome eyeliners and threw in some glitter in my brows and then added some more glitter and it just ended up looking like this and I don't actually hate it. It kind of looks like I just have extra highlighter on but realistically I just kind of drew some polka dots on my face for shits and giggles. So this is the final look with the Huda Mercury Retrograde palette. Now I definitely can't say I'm 100% in love with this palette yet. It was really fun to play with it because it's definitely like a different kind of vibe. It almost has like a pastel, like again, like a fantasy space vibe to it, which I really like. I really like the shimmers. I threw this white shade, which is called Super Moon in my inner corner. Like I just had a lot of fun playing with this. So I feel like this is one of those kind of like a unique color combination, especially for a store like Sephora. A lot of the times I think when channels review products, including me, I forget about the regular makeup consumer. So I'm always thinking about my collection and whether this would stand out in my collection. And even though I have so many purple shades, like Amy Loves Makeup likes to call it, in other palettes, I don't necessarily think that there is a lot of this color scheme at Sephora where you can buy this. Like you can see it in person and touch it. I feel like this is very unique for a store like Sephora. The one other palette that it kind of reminded me of a little bit, kind of the vibes were very similar, is the um, Violet Voss Sugar Crystal palette, only because it has like a lot of those like, I don't know, just like the blues and the pinks, you know what I mean? So if you have this one, you could kind of play around with it and achieve very similar looks with it. Um, but you guys know I am a makeup savage and I love Huda Beauty. And I had such a good experience with the New Nudes palette that she did, the mini obsessions in the rich that I was really, really tempted by this. So I grabbed this. This is like one of the holiday launches that I'm really excited for in 2019. Of course, there's so many other things coming out. I am trying really hard to be good this holiday season. I want to reduce my spending on makeup makeup and see where it takes me. I don't think I'll ever be able to do like a no buy necessarily, but never say never. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I just want to be more thoughtful with my purchases. And the next thing I really have my eye on for holiday is the new Melt Cosmetics collection. So I am going to, you know, try and do some more looks with palettes that you guys haven't even seen on my channel yet. You probably don't even know I have it. Um, but as far as like future makeup 
purchases go for the holiday season. I think my eye is on melt. I don't know what else to expect from brands, but as far as this one goes, I think that it's a fun palette. It's not hard to use. I didn't even foil these shadows and I think they look really pigmented. I think they'll look even more pigmented on a glitter glue. So I really like this palette so far. Now this isn't really a review. It was just like a playtime with the palette. And if I get around to it and use it more and have more thoughts on it, I will definitely update you guys in a future video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!